so hello guys hello hello i don't have a psychic today the psychic is walking around so he's my uh, technician i guess you could say and um yeah today i said i was gonna do like an unboxing video well i didn't say i asked you guys if you guys wanted me to do an unboxing video and you said yes so um here it goes um it's basically it's an unbox <laughs> to cut this um it's an unboxing video um of the ordinary products and um yeah maybe i should do a little bit of a backstory i um had some micro needling sessions done a few months ago um and shout out to my girl susana at Mary Dharma aruba like if you're in Aruba, go check her out. If you have skin problems, skin issues, um, seriously, like she is the best out there. I um, found her website recently, actually. Um, well, not so recently anymore. I think it was somewhere in February, March. And I'd seen some results she had booked with other patients and other like other clients she has. And um, I basically fell in love like with the results that she had. And I had like some um, some acne scars on the sides of my face mostly around here uh, underneath my beard but um, I wanted to get rid of those basically so I booked a session my first session with her I did a vampire microneedling session uh, also called a uh, vampire facelift at first I wasn't sure like why it's called a vampire facelift because like you know I didn't realize it actually gave you a facelift but um, or you know if you do it consecutively and I got about <laughs> I don't know, I want to say four or six sessions, I'm not really sure anymore. But after the first results, uh, after the first session basically, I was so amazed and so in love with the results that I was like, okay, I have to like, you know, keep doing this and you know. Um, at first I was like, I was like, you know, it's kind of like an expensive joke, but um, I mean, Rome wasn't built in a day, so I wasn't going to repair my face in a day. So um, basically from that point of view, I went, I booked more sessions with her and she did an amazing job, explained everything through and through, and um, yeah, like at the end, um, I was asking, you know, like for more advice on skincare, etc. So she had given me some um, uh, tips on what products I could use and what products would be best for my specific skin situation. So that's how I actually ended up ordering from The Ordinary, and um, that's what we're gonna do today. So we're gonna start opening the box. I don't have pizza today though, but I think, I feel like um, I had like almost like a natural reflex when I... You know, there's a strip, you're supposed to strip and open it all at once, but I broke that strip, so we're gonna try the other side and see. Hopefully that helps. Otherwise I'm gonna have to get a knife. But I don't, wanna peop I don't want people to think I'm a sadist or a psycho. I'm looking at my side. Do you want to join my video, sidekick? I don't know. I don't think so. You're not gonna use products in me, so no. No. It's a pretty big package. Pretty big, big box. Let's... Oh. Okay, so the first thing I'm getting out is the ordinary uh, sun care sunscreen. Um, stop laughing at me. He's laughing at me, guys. This is not okay. Um, it's the ordinary sun care sunscreen. Uh, mineral UV filters, SPF 30 with antioxidants. Um, this is different from what I was using before, because like that's like one of the first tips that she had given me. She said, um, definitely make sure you use the sunscreen. And I noticed a difference, like considerable difference, um, since I started using a sunblock or sunscreen and um, yeah I decided to check this out since it was cheap anyway and um, I was already ordering from the brand so I figured I um, might as well try it out um, let's see what's in the box in a little package it's just a tiny little uh, little tube um, I don't know if I should try it out or should I try it? I probably should is it? I figured it was on one of those things I had to like take off the lid. There's a lid. See how it feels. I was uh, firstly I don't really like heavy, heavy feeling sunscreen, so ooh, I like this. Oh well. It spreads really well. But 
and it feels really light and refreshing too so I'm really looking forward to putting this on my face later on. As I have to wash my face, maybe it's um, an idea that I tell you guys what face wash I use. I used a um, simple moisturizing face wash, I think I've talked about this before, about two years ago when I was still like was in Canada. Um, that's where I found it, found the brand for the first time or found the product and I really fell in love because it was very um, light hydrating. I didn't get like the tight feeling on my face after um, using it so um, I stuck to that moisturizing face wash ever since and I never changed and um, I mean it looks nice. Uh, it looks a little white though I feel. Yeah my left hand definitely looks whiter than my right hand but anyway whatever. <sighs> I like the feeling of it on my skin, so. Next product. Um, oh, the Neosinometer 10% and Zinc 1%. Um, I think she recommended this one specifically because I have huge pores. And I grew up in the Caribbean, uh, so in the tropics, and I read somewhere that when you grow up in the Caribbean or you grow up in, or if you live in warmer areas, you would, you would be more prone to having larger pores because your face needs to refresh itself and my battery is gonna die so i hope it doesn't die right now i'm gonna try to hurry this up and see what happens um but yeah i think it's a it's like a serum i'm not sure come out come out wherever you are oh fancy bottle too it seems like it has like a gel like consistency yeah okay not gonna put this on yet, but um, apparently one drop should be enough. Uh, some people react very bad to it, I read, but um, we're gonna have to uh, see how it progresses. Like I'm gonna, this time I'm really gonna take a picture, like a before and after, to see like how it really um, works out for me. And uh, because like before, that's one of the things that I like. I have like such a big reg regret that I didn't do. It's that um, when I first started my microneedling session uh, or sessions, I didn't take a before and after picture because my face was uh, quite reasonable already. I I thought I didn't realize that it was like that uneven in terms of uh, texture, and I didn't I don't have before and after pictures. So that's like a little obviously a little sad because I can't compare. Um, but personally, I can see that I did have a lot of progress and um, or did book a lot of progress and I'm really satisfied with that. But I can't show you guys, unfortunately, what the difference was like. Maybe I should do like a, I don't know, like a before and after in three months to see like how I progressed on these products and um, see if I would actually recommend them or not. This is like, by the way, this is not any promotion or whatever. I'm not getting paid for the shit. I'm just like trying to get you guys to... Um, well, guys actually too, to take better care of your skin, you know? Um, next product, Hyaluronic Acid. Um, I don't know what the percentage is. 2% plus B5, a hydration support formula with ultra pure vegan Hyaluronic Acid. Uh, I tried going vegan once, guys, and it didn't work out. <laughs> um, I think, I wonder if this has the same consistency as the Niacinamida does. I call it Niacinamida, I spray it out the like, I spray it out. <laughs> I pronounce it like the Dutch way, but um, <laughs> I think, oh, it's very um, slimy. It seems like it's very slimy. Maybe it's more like a gel consistency, but I'm not, uh, I don't know. We're gonna, we're gonna find um, it. Where was I again with this one? I think it, it hydrates your face or it triggers your cells to absorb more uh, moisture. I think external moisture, I'm not really sure what I read about it, but um, this is also going to become part of my routine. I'm going to let you guys know what my routine is in a little bit, and um, so everybody has like a better idea what it's gonna, my routine is going to look like. And then I got the peeling solution, uh, HA 30% and BHA 2%, 10 minute exfoliating facial. I think it's like, um, it's an acid that dissolves the upper, um, the most upper layers of your skin and um, making your complexion brighter and I'm seeing a bee and I hope it doesn't sting me. Is it gonna sting? I have flowers on my shirt, hopefully. Is it? It's hibiscus. I hope he doesn't- Oh my god! <laughs> Please leave me alone. Bees give me anxiety. I was I was stung by bees in the past. Um, don't, don't. Oh my gosh, it's- Oh, it's not even a bee, it's a wasp. Fuck. <laughs> Those sting hard. 
Anyways, so I got a peeling solution um, to, uh, I think it takes away like blemishes, doesn't it? I clean face and wait for skin to dry, da, 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 directions. Anyways, it says it's low viscosity. It's tight. Oh, it sort of, I guess it sort of leaks too, but, um, yeah, I feel like it has the same consistency as the other products. Um, anyway, it's a very cute color. I'm really curious as to how it's going to work out and how often I have to um, put it on my face, but, um, put it back in the packaging. And... Last but not least, I have the salicylic acid 2% uh, mask. And that I'm supposed to apply twice a week. That's the only thing I do remember. I think they also have like a solution that one you can use every day, but I'm gonna, I'm just gonna use the mask because um, that's what she recommended. Um, or she, it's not necessarily she recommended it, but I think it's easier. Um, it's more, more feasible when you're, um, when you have routine. I'm personally don't have the discipline to be doing shit every day or like you know have like a very complex uh, routine for that matter so I'm gonna try to keep it as simple as possible um, and I wonder what consistency the mask has cuz I wonder if it's gonna be like a mud mask or if it's more like a gel like it seems like it is more like a it has more of like a mud mask texture Use once or twice a week on thoroughly clean, dry skin. Do not use on wet skin, apply evenly across face, da, 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 da. Of course, we know all of that already. Formulated for blemish prone skin, and that's like one of the issues that I really do have. Um, even though my um, my breakouts have gone down a lot ever since I've, I started doing my, or I did my microneedling sessions with um, my skin therapist, um, if when whenever I do break out, it does really I always do get like really intense um, blemishes, so I would like to get rid of those. And I think I have to look more in the lens because I just noticed that it looks weird that I keep looking on the screen and look at myself. <laughs> but anyway, that doesn't matter. I do think it's a very big box though for the things that I ordered. I think it could have been packaged a little bit more friendly, but. Um, or environmentally friendly, but um, the order that I received, it did say that it was um, CO2 neutral, so I guess it was environmentally friendly anyway. So um, that's that basically. Uh, let me check my order list to see if it makes sense. Let me grab my boxes back again. And the last one. So I ordered a total of what seems to be like five products. One, two, three, four, five, yeah. And I mean, that's correct. Maybe I should let you guys see what, uh, what? Stop laughing at me, you're so weird. Anyway, lucky for me I can edit these things. But anyway, um, I'm gonna go grab my moisturizing face wash real quick. Oh, now I'm stuck in the box. I'm just gonna go on bloopers. Anyway, so the face wash I've been- <laughs> stickers. <laughs> the face wash I've been using is this one. It's a simple moisturizing face wash and um, I really love it. It's really um, moisturizing, soothing, and um, uh, my skin is very prone to drying up really fast and the water here in the Netherlands is very dry. So um, I do have a tendency to whenever I do take a shower, my skin feels very, very, very tight. And it's obviously not friendly for, um, for your skin, so, or wrinkles for that matter. Now that speaking of wrinkles actually, maybe I can let you guys see a little bit. I used to have these really, really, really bad um, laughter lines here. And it's not really that I wanted to get rid of them, but um, as part of my microneedling sessions, my laughter lines are now gone. I also used to have really bad um, crow's feet here around my eyes, and um, those are also, um, basically gone and here I used to have these stress lines because I, I do have a tendency to frown a little bit or like I do speak a lot with emotions when I talk to people and um, that um, has also been resolved for the time being and um, yeah that's that so um, I'll let you guys see uh, or I'll tell you guys a little bit more about the 
routine that I was given. Like one of the things that I really liked about The Ordinary is that uh, of course next to having relatively good prices, they also um, offer advice when you're ready to order products. Um, so basically I just texted them and they said, um, they messaged me back and they said, hi, I'm Nicole. Uh, after cleanser, use hyaluronic acid and niacin. I want to say niacinamide, but it sounds so much like cyanide. And yeah, I, I, I'm not sure how comfortable I am saying that. And anyways, after that, you use your moisturizer, your usual moisturizer and sunscreen after in the mornings, uh, once or twice a week, salicylic acid mask. And um, they said to let them know if I had any further questions, but I didn't have any further questions. And um, I mean, that's uh, basically the routine that I'm going to have and we're gonna see uh, what kind of results we're gonna book. And I'm really excited, I'm really looking forward to it, and um, I hope that I can help you guys with um, my experience. Um, if you have any other questions, um, definitely let me know. And um, I don't know. That's, um, that'll be it for today. Remember to pay it forward, guys, and um, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.